You see that all the time too in the Harry Potter series, for example. At the very end of the Harry Potter series, Potter undergoes a literal death and rebirth, and that's how he finally defeats evil. These stories are deeply built into people. There's a reason that, that J.K. Rowling became the richest person in England by, she's richer than the Queen. She got rich by telling the story properly. You know, in the second volume of Harry Potter, when, when there's the basilisk underneath the castle that turns you to stone when you look at it, that's everything that people are afraid of. That freezes you like a rabbit freezes when it sees a wolf. And the story in Harry Potter is you go underneath the castle to where the thing that fear frightens you the most resides and you face it down. And in doing that, you free the virgin, right? That's St. George, he frees Virginia in the Harry Potter story. And maybe you half die because of that because he gets bit, bitten by that basilisk and just about dies. And then it's the phoenix that saves him because the phoenix is the spirit of death and rebirth. These stories, they come up everywhere. There's no avoiding them. And it's because they're true. But they're not true like scientific truths. They're a different, they're a behavioral truth, if or a pragmatic truth, or a dramatic truth. And part of the reason that our society is so damn unstable now, and part of the reason all this weird chaos is emerging, this is a consequence of Nietzsche's observation back from the late 1800s about the death of God. We blew the metaphysical foundations out from underneath our culture. And the whole thing is shaking and twisting. And it's, it's vacillating between the horrors of the extreme right and the horrors of the extreme left. It's been doing that for 140 years, and we're in the throes of that again. We blew the metaphysical foundations out from underneath our culture. And we need to get them back. Part of the reason that people are so obsessed by things like the Avengers movies and the superheroes and Harry Potter and all of that is because, and Star Trek and Star Wars, is because... Our, our collective imagination is trying to regroup at the level of, of drama and reformulate our fundamental metaphysics.